Now let's see how you can optimize the attachment for large deployment of overlay networks. Just a reminder, in the context of VXLAN eVPN, the deployment of networks consists of three main steps. The first step is to create the VRF. The second step is to create the overlay networks, either layer two only network or associated with a VRF. As you know, any routed networks belong to a unique VRF. And the last step is to attach the networks with their associated VRF to the leaf nodes and the physical interfaces attaching the endpoints, including the border gateway for the overlay networks to be extended. Setting up the Fabric Day Zero operations, which consists of building your VXLAN EVPN fabrics with the underlay, the multi-site, the virtual port channels, etc., traditionally involved only one time step. However, one common scenario for the IT organization is to solve day one operational challenges highly repetitive. And one of the challenges concerned the top-down process for deploying overlay networks and VRF to the switches, especially for large networks. Another use case is when you onboard a new switch on which you need to attach multiple existing overlay networks and VRF across a large number of interfaces. NDFC user interface offers an easy process to create and attach the overlay networks, including the embedded ways to deploy a bulk of network operation. In addition, NDFC provides a wide variety of features and tools to solve these concerns at scale, such as programming the fabric by means of NDFC RESTful APIs, using an external API management tool such as Postman or Infrastructure's code with Ansible collection or Terraform provider. Before we talk about NDFC RESTful APIs, let's focus first on NDFC user interface to start by introducing two very helpful features. The first is the interface grouping, and the second one is the bulk attachment and detachment, both embedded with NDFC 12 for highly repetitive actions. Within a fabric, several switches and interfaces can share the same networks and VRF. With traditional networks and VRF deployment, it may become boring to select each interface one by one. By grouping interfaces, it simplifies the deployment of overlay networks and it prevents risk of mistakes using a wrong interface. With interface group, you just associate the network overlay to a group of switches with all the concerned interfaces. One click and it's done, and it is therefore easy to reuse for multiple networks. Consequently, it helps saving precious time for deploying or troubleshooting. In case you have deployed dozens of leaf nodes attaching hundreds of uh, hosts, it may become challenging to retrieve which hosts attach to which switch with which interfaces supporting which applications, right? In that case, you can create an interface group that allows grouping of host-facing interfaces at a fabric level based on your criteria. For example, you want to create an interface group for all machines responsible for the web and app for tenant one, such as leaf one interface E1 slash two or port channel 24, uh, also for leaf two or E1 slash 9 for lift 2 and so on. The interface group supports physical interfaces, port channels, and virtual port channels for multiple switches. And you can attach multiple overlay networks to the interfaces belonging to an interface group. You can edit a CSV file to create a VRF, a network, or to attach the networks to multiple switches and interfaces. And when ready, you import the updated CSV files to automate the deployment for a large amount of uh, networks and VRF, attaching them to numerous devices and interfaces. If you don't have a CSV template and you want to know how to fill up the CSV file, then the first step is to simulate the network attachments to create your CSV template. This is optional, right? So. Uh, uh, it's up to you. However, this can be very helpful to create the templates uh, the first time in order to get all the right parameters in the right order. And you will see this uh, during the demo. 
Then when your network is attached to the switch and at least one interface, you can export your CSV file. This being said, when you done this at least once, then you have already a template, right? So then you can skip this step. Let's see the demo with the uh, bulk attachment and detachment. So this is our VXN VPN fabric with uh, three leaf nodes and two border gateways. So first actions, go to detail view. From the detail view, I can show you that we have three tenants, but only one that we will use for the template is deployed. Same thing for the networks. And we have all the attachments. So you can see all the network attachments with um, only one single network attached to one device with one interface. And we will use this one as a template. So basically what we do is we select this one and we export the configuration into a CSV file. And now we can open the file and uh, we can add new lines for the associations between each network and all the different switches and across multiple interfaces of interest. So now we have added the lines with uh, the respective networks and switches and interfaces. We can now save the file. Now returning to the network attachment window, we can now import the file. So I can drag and drop the file directly to this uh, field. Say OK. All the networks have been attached now. As you can see, there are many um, interfaces and switches and the status is pending. So now we need to recalculate and deploy the configurations. So, and now, as you can see, there are all the configuration of the network pushed to the different switches and interfaces. We can now deploy. And as you can see, the status is deployed and attached for all the switches and interface of interest. And now you have the template. You can reuse it to attach very quickly all the required networks for any new switch you need to onboard. This section on bulk attachment and detachment concludes the module number two. You started this module with the creation of a LAN Classic in few clicks. Then you created a greenfield fabric, meaning that you build from ground up a VXLAN EVPN fabric and attach the LAN Classic network to the VXLAN EVPN fabric, number one. Then you created a multi-site domain between two VXLAN EVPN fabric, fabric one and fabric two, across a core layer, the WAN. You saw how NDFC auto provision the interfabric under the connectivity between the sites and the core layers in few clicks. You saw how to create and automate the deployment of network overlays and VRF across multiple sites in few clicks, including the creation of network attachment for the classic LAN using NDFC user interface in a standard manner. And finally, you saw two embedded tools from uh, the GUI to accelerate and simplify the attachment of the overlay networks and VRF using either the interface grouping or the bulk attachment and detachment.